Welcome to Global Risk Community Chat. Today we are joined by N Nadim Shamim. I'm very happy to have you here today, Nadim. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be part of this conversation. Likewise. Uh, before we start getting into the topic, could you perhaps shortly introduce yourself to our audience? Absolutely. So my name is Nadim Shamim. I'm a Global Head of Cash and Liquidity Management at SmartStream. My background is primarily through uh, working at global organizations like so, uh, ABN AMRO, Standard Chartered and JP Morgan, looking at cash and liquidity propositions for their clients. And now I'm with SmartStream, taking uh, the SmartStream proposition forward. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Uh, what topic would you like to discuss with us today? I think it's quite a, a, a important that we bring to fore that the risks around uh, intraday liquidity management. More and more organizations and regulators are focusing on looking at the risks that are within liquidity management, but more specifically around intraday liquidity. Could you perhaps then go more definite, some key things perhaps, you know, like what transpires when you work on this topic? Sure. So it, uh, let's take a, a more recent event, the pandemic, right? So under the pandemic, a lot of organizations, specifically banks, have been under stress. Um, and, and if you look at market risk, credit risk, operational risk have all increased. For instance, banks have been encouraged to lend to corporates, but the economic uncertainty facing those borrowers have been unprecedented. That raises credit risk, which means it has a direct impact on liquidity should that uh, borrower fail. For operational risks, uh, studies have shown that uh, uh, there are considerable losses prior to the pandemic. And this is, uh, I was lo looking at a particular study that comes out from um, ORS, which is Operational Risk Exchange, that the operational risk continues to expand and expand. So, what does that mean for uh, the risk team within a bank as such? The key is to, is to be able to understand where is their liquidity? What is the demand on liquidity? And are, is the cash manager or treasurer making the right decision based on the uh, right information? Is the information that they have up to date and accurate? There's a risk potentially because of operational risks uh, that the information is not the most up to date and it's an incomplete uh, information. Yeah. Uh, perhaps then, uh, could you tell us things that risk managers can start implementing right now so that you know these most of the issues alongside that comes with it can be avoided? Yeah, it's it's a it's a twofold thing. One is to make sure you have the, the right information, right? So get the information in real time, in terms of real-time liquidity reporting tools that deliver accurate data from different parts of the organizations. And the, that's one of the key challenges that most organizations face, which is the connectivity with internal systems and with external systems. And if, if you are able to connect with some of the internal systems, there are still a, a need to manually supplement that information uh, to get the most up-to-date liquidity position before a funding decision is made. The second part of that is to say, right, I would like to use the data that I have to create some scenarios um, and test the stress conditions as such. So having a tool that can create a um, different scenarios, modify those scenarios, run those scenarios and evaluate the stress conditions on the fly is very powerful and key to a solid risk management framework. Currently, many of the, uh, the organizations can do that on the liquidity side of it. They're, it's been around for quite some time, but intraday liquidity has been a focus only on periodic basis for regulatory purposes. More and more banks are seeing the value of uh, intraday liquidity stress testing as a BAU function. 
Um, and it's the kind of conversations I'm having with various organizations. They see the value, they see the, 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 uh, the, the, the data or the information that is exposed. It shows the vulnerabilities that are in, inherent in the, uh, in the liquidity uh, position. And it gives them a tool that says, I want to be able to change the scenarios very quickly because if I have a process in place for intraday liquidity stress testing right now, if I change that a little bit, it could set back the availability of results several weeks. And clearly during this pandemic, the situation has changed so rapidly week on week that you can't wait for several weeks. In fact, it has changed day on day. Even now, uh, we've just uh, heard that there is another variant coming, which is having an impact on uh, financial markets already. Yeah, that's quite true. And since we have a few more minutes, perhaps, would you like to share something else on this topic before we get into our last question? So the, the other element of um, the intraday liquidity and managing it more proactively, not uh, passively, is to start saying, what would my liquidity look like in the future? I predict the uh, intraday liquidity uh, profile. Here, I, new tools are coming into the market using machine learning uh, or artificial intelligence. What it does do is that it, um, it would help um, identify, well, the, the unsettled cash flows are there to say what time in my, in my day remaining there, for, for example, the unsettled cash flows will settle. Are they likely to be delayed, i.e. In, in terms of receipts coming in late, or are they likely to be missed? Is that the prediction? And what impact it has on my own commitments to make payments as well? Am I going to delay my payments because I only have a certain amount of liquidity? Or, and, and the remedial action could be, I pick the phone up, call uh, the counterpart who's supposed to send the money to me, say, is that gonna happen and what time is gonna happen? Uh, or provide additional liquidity. Yeah, that actually sounds like a quite reasonable solution in that end. Uh, then I have one last question, and that is a bit of a outside of the topic, of course, but how it is for you to be in general, being part of a risk community, you know, being, as a uh, risk manager? Uh, at, personally, I think it's very important because regardless of what you're doing within a financial uh, institution, almost everything is, uh, in my view, needs to be uh, looked at from a risk uh, viewpoint. Uh, banks are always looking how to manage the risk. There's no way you can mitigate every single uh, risk, but it's how do you manage it? So we provide tools in order to give visibility and control to banks around intraday liquidity. So therefore, being part of a risk community is far more important for me um, than, uh, than, than being outside and being just seen as a vendor. Thank you so much for sharing. That kind of concludes our time for today. Once again, thank you for coming, being a guest today on our podcast. And yeah. Pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, likewise. Have a great day. Thank you.